Hello the internet. It is Wednesday the 4th of October 2017. I'm on the way to Melbourne. Jedboards have booked me for two days of photography less. Jeremy's soul, he's organized a private vehicle to the airport again. This is my second time in a private vehicle to the airport. Thank you, Jeremy, for doing this. Since we last spoke about Jed boards, the manufacture process is underway. I was talking with Jeremy last night. Right now, they're going through certification through one of the largest companies in the world that does certifications. a little dry in the mouth. Well, there's a water there and I know from last time that this is for me to drink. I spilt it again. Just can't open a bottle of water in a car without spilling a little bit of it. Luckily, I'll have a tissue there. Dab, dab, dab. I'm just gonna dab on that water. Did I just do that? <laughs> half an hour to a boarding. It's gonna give me the perfect opportunity to do Creator Cast Challenge 01. If you watch our other channel, Creator Cast, you'll see that in the last episode, the one where we talked about vlogging in public, a challenge was raised and the challenge was to vlog in public. So I thought, well, why not do my CCC 01 right here, right now in Sydney Airport? And what better way to do it than to run an NSD Sydney Airport. NSD this episode is Band of Skulls. Band of Skulls, fantastic band. Much, much, much love for this band. I photographed Band of Skulls twice now. First time was 2014 at the Hi-Fi Bar here in Sydney. Then 2016 at the Wollongong Uni. I was gonna say Farmer in the Hour, but it was Wollongong Uni. So if you're a fan of Band of Skulls, and you like your sort of bluesy stoner rock, you should check out this band. And if you enjoy these photos and you want to purchase them, you can use this code, gives a minute hyphen band of skulls, and that'll get you 15% off. The link where to do that is in the description of this video. This vlogging in public thing hasn't been that hard. There's no one here. There's no one around. Gate 36, I think I've passed it. Where's my gate? It's right there. Hey! <laughs> There's background props. because every time I try to use my cracked iPhone screen, it never works. Good morning, how are you sir? Good, thank you. Where are you off to? Just having a look at the shot list for this shoot in Melbourne. Shot list for those who are not familiar with photography, it's your client will supply you with a list of photos that they want to achieve. There's some really cool stuff on here that we're gonna be shooting today in Melbourne. I'm gonna show you each one of them as we go. Bit of snow on the Alps. Even amazing we have snow in Australia, let alone this late in the year. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Melbourne Airport. The local time is 1026 a.m. Very quick flight from Sydney to Melbourne. You go up, you go across for a little bit, and then you come back down and you're in Melbourne town where it's cold. <laughs> Here in Melbourne, Warren Jordan is meeting me. You remember Warren from previous 
adventures with the Jed board here in Melbourne. He's a happy man. He's a smiling man. Here's Warren. He's Venom. turned up. We're actually going to do a shot in the airport here. What we have behind us is some self-check-in kiosks from Virgin, and we're going to just try to do a, a shot there until they get onto us and boot us out. <laughs> Got a few shots on the escalator and a few shots checking in. We did get booted out of the airport. That didn't last very long. Nice. Yeah, she was she was pretty nice about it. She just said, look, if you're gonna film in the airport, you need to talk to our media team first. And there's the same argument that I've had plenty of times. What's the difference if you're filming for a Facebook Live or a Snapchat story or an Instagram story? But to save any problems, we're just gonna leave. See ya. Well, that woman did say to not photograph in the airport. This is not in the airport. This is technically at the airport. Got a beautiful Melbourne sign here. I mean, a lot of people would take photos in front of this anyway. I'm just getting some shots down here on the grass. The idea there was to just get a little bit of the Melbourne sign. There's not the whole Melbourne sign, but we've got photos of the whole sign so you can connect the dots yourself. Got shots coming out the wazoo here. Let's look at this in front of the trolleys there. I wish I had my second. I've got two more flashes in my bag in the car. I needed another one to, to really power this up. I do like what, what we've done there. That's looking nice. That's a bunch of shots off the shot list taken care of. We wanted to get some uh, famous landmarks and Melbourne Airport. Famous landmark until you get booted out of it. We still managed to get some shots there in front of the, the Melbourne sign. By the way, look how easy it is here with Warren carrying the jet board. That's made possible because the jet board is a rather light board. In terms of electric skateboards, this guy is lighter than any other. Still has the same range. Still has the same power and guts. In fact, I would argue it has more of both, but it is on the lighter side. We've come down to Fitzroy, famous for its bowl. I've skated that thing many times. It's a Wednesday, the skate, is a, there's a session happening right now. We're here to shoot photos of the jet board. What I've got here is three flashes on the ground. Beautiful leading lines behind here, tree lines, path lines, all the lines and the jet board standing up. Another line going straight up there. <laughs> Have a look at this spot we're shooting at now. Just a little bit further around from where we were but a second ago. The jet board on the ground here. All the way behind it is this path. We've got three flashes. I'm laying down on the ground to get a low angle. I'm really enjoying it. It's a beautiful, beautiful day here in Melbourne. That shot. There's a lot of space on this shot to play with text. Jeremy requested that I give him um, some hero shots for the website. So that kind of shot, if it's not this one, it'll be another one, but that kind of shot where you can put text around, you can have overlays and very important to cover those bases. So I'm covering it as many times as I possibly can. Part of lifestyle and enjoyment of an electric skateboard is being out in the beautiful outdoors and enjoying yourself. There's two ladies here in the park enjoying themselves, just having a fantastic Wednesday. And they've been kind enough to let us shoot some lifestyle photos of the board in their little picnic area. What I've done is I've got the three flashes around. They're just chilling there. We've got the board in the front. to put on a long lens and get a nice long shot of the board with the blurred background. I don't want to take up too much more of these girls time but that this kind of shot here drinking beer with an electric skateboard in a park that's lifestyle. Thank you so much for being a part of this and, in, and letting us invade your space for the time <laughs> no, being. That's all it's okay. So we are now here with a bunch of dudes just chilling. We are putting the board in more lifestyle positions and taking more photos. Dudes in the park with their shirts off drinking beers. That is lifestyle. It's Melbourne. It's beautiful and warm. I'm in black. It was a wrong decision. Yes. Have a look at this one. Looks so rad. Lifestyle style. I think, um, I think we've got the shot there. Yeah. I'll just say thanks to the boys. Yeah. Hey, thanks very much, guys. All right. Cheers for helping out. Melbourne is turning it up for me here today. Everyone's so helpful and friendly. The weather's beautiful. That could be the reason why. One of these gentlemen wanted to have a ride on the skateboard and uh, I can't really shoot these photos for promo. Now, I just want to make a point to anyone out there that wants to ride a jet board. I would recommend a helmet, but if you're not going to wear a helmet, you don't really need to wear anything. Yeah. <laughs> 
I'm no just, bones will be broken. <laughs> you enjoyed it? Yeah, I did. It was good. If you purchased the jet board, would you um, also wear clothing or would you just always ride like this? I'd ride like this, but slap a helmet on. Why not? Yeah. <laughs> See, <laughs> safety first is the best option. <laughs> nice work, man. Too easy. Thanks, Thank guys. Cheers. Another lifestyle kind of shot we can do is laying the skateboard against some some push bikes and there's a couple here that have kindly let us use their bikes my initial thoughts with this sh particular shot would be get this beautiful sun coming through the sky and like nice white blown out background but then as soon as we got set up here what happened the sun disappeared so instead I got some nice tight shots against the tree here we don't want to take up any more of these guys time they're chilling like the rest of the people in this park yeah. thanks very much for letting us I use know, no worries at all. <laughs> pleasure enjoy pleasure. the rest of your day yeah sure. thank Cheers, you guys good to see someone else enjoying the jet board but what's more amazing to me is that they still have not fixed this coping on this bowl look at this that coping has been like that as long as I've ridden this bowl which has to be over 15 years you uh you did pretty well in there you are you a skateboarder man, I was cruising yeah, I'm a skateboarder man yeah. straight up things real cruising man you, yeah. just, you just have to stand on it just press the button man it works like it's, you know, it's magic magic coming from a skating background like like myself how did you find the difference between a normal longboard and this board I think it's pretty much the same except just this one struggles to turn a bit so you know what I mean right just the turning it's the wheels a bit maybe it just needs to be looser and stuff maybe yeah. some looser trucks yeah, some looser trucks, yeah. yeah. Fair enough. Thanks, man. Cheers, no, dude. Cheers, man. It's Cheers, man. Really good, really good board. I like it. Thank it's you. That's a lot of photos already done today. We are approximately three hours from sunset. We haven't eaten yet. We haven't had lunch. We've just been busy shooting. Now we're going to head down to St Kilda. We're going to get some late lunch slash early dinner. Keep an eye on that sun because we want to get some sunset style shots. We got ourselves a nice little spot here at the P Hotel, Port Melbourne. I thought we were in St Kilda. Perhaps it's just the name of the place. Technically. We're going to watch that sunset. We're also going to do some photos when the sun is setting. We've got a great spot here to view that from. Ah, cider. Get that India. Couldn't help ourselves while we sat here. It's such a beautiful spot. We got some more lifestyle shots of the jet board at a bar scenario. Of course, food arrived at the most beautiful sun time. So I'm just going to let my food go cold. I'm going to get this shot. Oh, don't stop there, don't park there. Oh, look at this, look at this. Lucky I got a few shots beforehand. I was gonna come and show you guys what I got, but I actually did take a few shots. I had the flash here, lighting the jet board, with the sunset and the palm tree behind. And then this gentleman, or well, this woman took the spot, but that's all right, it's a parking spot. You can't really complain about that. Well, we came back here to Warren's place and we've been having just a, a great night, just chit-chatting and, and talking about guitars and music. Warren does have right here in his house a final version of the Jedboard's remote controller. Now this thing is not available to the public right now. Some of the things about it that are amazing is it's got a 30-day battery, self updatable firmware, you don't have to send it anywhere, you can program the firmware updates yourself. It's got haptic feedback for turn by turn navigation. This thing is insane. It's got a screen that looks like a Kindle. You can see it in any light. There's one sitting right here on this table. Let's have a look at it right now. Oh, that's um, what? we're out of time. Oh yes, I ran out of time yet again. Thanks for checking out my channel, Gives A Minute. If you want to become a giver, please hit the subscribe button. If you want to give a little more, you can check out a previous vlog here. If you want to give even more, you can support me over at Patreon. And if you're a photographer, please check out my Lightroom 6 presets right here. Has that been 20 seconds? Yeah. <laughs>